truth is almost upon us here. They are about to drop the puck. Puck is dropped. We're underway, and I've been looking forward to this one all day. Tries to feed it over to Champion. Now a quick pass to Michael. Here's a chance. Glove saved by the goalie. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Lots of time left in this period. Still no score in this one. Scoops up the puck off the draw. Oh, what a save with the club by Dubnik. Minnesota's had a great first half of the season. The coaching staff, the management, the individual athletes, everyone's feeling it. You know who else is feeling it? The fan base, so passionate and excited to watch their team. And they take possession here inside the offensive zone. Both sides mixed up for that battle for the puck along the wall. Gavrick's got it in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. From the boards, he takes that pass. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. A timely save is everything to your team. And this goaltender, he bails his team out. And they win the draw in the offensive zone, and they go to work. And now he moves it quickly to Panic. Huge steal in his own end. Takes the pass from the left wing. Here's a shot. Fantastic save. Here's a short pass to Prosser. Dishes it to Chara. Minnesota's got it in the offensive zone. The Sabres take possession in the defensive end. Skinner's got it against the boards. And he rings the post. So frustrating when you don't get the bounces and you just miss as that one goes off the pipe. You gotta wonder, if you get the opening goal, the momentum's all in your favor. And now he angles it across to Skinner. Takes that pass back to the point. Oh, what a cliff save by Dubnik. Middle stats won the face off here in the offensive zone. That opportunity is rejected. In the game of hockey, you know that your opponent is told to attack and drive the net and really get in the eyes of the tender. And for the goaltender, it's really important when there's a lot of traffic in front to make sure they have their eyes. So it's out battling, out working your opponent for those sight lines. He does an impressive job of making that save. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still looking for our first goal. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Theodore. Get a little physical. Sometimes you drive your opponent back. Now they're hesitating and you create more opportunities. And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Cullen's been on fire lately. Everything he throws at the net seems to be going in. When it's working for you, you got to be confident. You feel like nothing can go wrong. Erickson X got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Buffalo's through center and now in the offensive end. Stopped by the goaltender. This is just great puck control to put the puck to the corner. No second shot opportunity. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Alfredson. Minnesota's got possession here in the neutral zone. Buffalo's looking to break out of the own end. CeCe's going to play it against the half wall. Oh, he scores! Well, talk about a friendly ping right there. Oh, yeah, it's all about the bounces, isn't it, James? And you got to get the right one, and that one is in his favor.
Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. We got a tie game. Rossi's quick stick lands on the puck here at center. And he loses control of the puck. Pushes it across to Declare. And now it's over to Paterka. Intercepted at center by Brodine. Sends the cross ice pass. Takes it from the right side. Oh, they telegraph the pass and he picks it off. Quick pass to Brodine. And he turned that one aside. There's the whistle as the puck stopper elects to hang on. Looks like lineups are set. They're ready to get things back underway. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Quick feed to Silverberg. Tries to get the puck to Colby. Minnesota's ready to go on the attack. Picked up along the wall by Chara. Oh, makes the save. That was a rocket. Carries it across the line. And that pass is redirected. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands. And now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now is on the line. There's so much skill and finesse in today's game. I love to see the net drive, having the courage to fight for the dot. And that's exactly what he's showing here, except he elects to use his vision when he recognizes the coverage is drawn to him and moves that puck right to his teammate who puts it in for a goal. Koivu's won the drop center. Moves it quickly over to Gabbering. Silverberg's got the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Sends it in front, and that's intercepted. Moves it to Gabbering. Along the half wall with the puck. Here's a short pass to Chara. Puck is frozen, and we'll get a face off. Past the midway mark in this period. Buffalo's been the better-looking team over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on this one-goal lead. Cousins takes possession right off the draw. Rips it and rips it! Stones up with the blocker! Taken along the wall by Power. Handles the pass. A little rock of suck him on the play. The Wild have the puck in their own end. The Sabres get a hold of it. He got all of that one. Puck grab by Cullen. Sends it quickly to Solani. Gaining steam inside the neutral zone. Good defensive effort to poke it away. Buffalo's on the attack. And that's intercepted by Chara. And he loses control here. Good fight for the puck along the boards. And he takes a shot. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Cullen's trying to get a little too fancy with the puck there and as a result he loses it. Right in front! Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Dubnik's timing of that save is incredible. I mean, you have to find a way to build on save after save. I and mean, he's coming off of that shutout performance, so everyone in the building knows what he can do. The Sabres scoop it up along the boards. Grabs control of it at the point. And that's picked off in the neutral zone by Gabarik. Fires it on net. There's the whistle as the puck goes up and over the glass. Late goings of this period. The Sabres lead it 2-1 in what has been an entertaining game thus far. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Crisp's got the puck and he's going to hang on. Moments away from the faceoff. Let's get back to the action. Buffalo's got possession here in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. 
Defensive pass in front. Couldn't complete the pass. Fires it. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James. And you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they push their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. Well, this is why coaches are always yelling, get traffic in front, because when you do, if you get a stick on it, it is so hard for the goaltender to fight for the change of direction. The Sabres have created a lot of scoring chances tonight, and they lead it here late in the first. Buffalo's won it. The Sabres have it on the offensive end. Great use of the stick to pick it away. That's a great goal. I mean, you got to work to position, and that's exactly what happens here. The recognition that the shot is coming and just finding a way to get your stick on that puck. You may not know where it's going, but you want to get a handle on it. The Sabres are up big here late in the first period. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. Gets a hold of the puck here in his own end. The Sabres will play it from the defensive zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving, a reason why he can get square to it and make the save. Silverberg's favorite way to score is blasting home a one-timer. He's known for that one zone ability. Let's it fly. Oh, at the buzzer, a big save. And with that, the first period comes to an end. Both teams will have a chance to get a breather, and they'll be back on the ice with period number two in not too long. Second period set to get underway. Well, let's see if there was any message sent in the dressing room here before the start of the second, because it was one-sided, to say the least, in the first. Well, we've seen a pretty good sample size already played thus far. Cheryl, your assessment. Minnesota's trailing in this game because they haven't had any urgency around the puck. They've been chasing the game, and they haven't had any possession time. Slides it diagonally to champion. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. The Sabres have generated a lot of pucks on net and have turned more than a few of those shots into goals. Koibu's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Taken by Vanek. Oh, he'd like to have that one back as it goes off the side. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Buffalo's got a little more jump in their step tonight. They lead it 4-1. Minnesota's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Crisp's going to hang on for a whistle. The Sabres continue to be the more active team here early in the second, and they lead as a result. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Quick pass over to Johns. And they'll go the other way with a great play by Chara. And he takes the feed. And James, I mean, he's done everything he could to stop the puck, as indicated by his save percentage, but his team has also been really strong. He's got the confidence of their netminder, and they've created a ton of opportunities. Cullen 
Rollins won the draw, and they'll look to set up. And officials right on top of that one, calling for a slashing penalty, it looks like. Well, this is what happens when you start to chase the game and find yourself looking to get better to position, and it's a slashing call. They're cracking down on it. Two-minute minor. Well, as both teams dig in for the face-off here just moments away, it's our first opportunity to look at the power play unit here. Here comes the top power play unit. You knew the coach was going to fill them out there. They need a goal to get back in this game. No better players to do it than their big stars. Gets it out of his own end. Picking up some steam at center ice. Minnesota's got him along the wall. Quick pass to Quigley. Great save from in tight. So focused and dialed in, tracks that puck perfectly as he pushes across the crease to make the save. Can't hang on after that hit. All sorts of pressure here. They score! And if they ever needed one, this was exactly the time. Well, they're just trying to get some momentum back in this game. So deflating when you give up so many goals, James. You gotta figure that this is a step in the right direction, but what can they do with it now? They gotta build, or it's over. Well, this isn't just a power play here, James, by being able to hold on to the puck while you're being jostled and shut. It's also the awareness piece to have your head up, knowing where everyone is on the ice while you're under that kind of pressure. And then you get an assist and it winds up in the back of the net to boot. That's just a great play all the way around. Minnesota's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Poked away at center by Middlestad. Moves the puck along the half wall. Grabbed along the boards by Koivu. Buffalo's got the puck in their own end. I'm gonna guess that he's gonna look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Here's a shot! Denies him with the save! Quick feed to Chara. And they got caught up in traffic and hits a stick. Buffalo's got a hold of the puck. Let's it go! Big stop right there! Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. Still lots of time left in the period. Minnesota's got a long way to go to try to get out of this jam as they trail by three. Back underway as he wins the try inside the offensive zone. Albertson's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. The Sabres don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. They had success earlier in the overload, James, and I expect that they'll run it again. They're working off one side of the ice. They know that they might have to be heavy and hard on the wall for the cycle. It's about quick up movement to back off the coverage right away and look for your opportunity to take it to the net. And they managed to clear it. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Poked away by Cece. He grabs the puck here at the point. Moves it quickly over to Eric Sack. And a nice save there as play continues. Well, he does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes a save. Great read with the stick. On the attack, they come down the right wing. Moves it to Sharoon. And that goes off a player. Off a stick, and they can't connect. Denies him. He got all of it. Broken up with the stick in the defensive zone. Here's the shot. And the traffic neutralizes that threat. Buffalo's got a hold of it along the wall. Here we go. Look at this here. Pretty apart to squeeze down in the offensive end. The game within the game, and this is a one-on-one -on -one battle in this goaltender. He knows exactly. Look at the numbers here. Sends it across. Oh, and that play is disconnected. Here's a short pass to Boldy. Turns him away. Sends the pass over. Takes a shot. Oh, he saved him. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. Oh, that's unbelievable, James. I have no idea how he got to that puck. There's some gymnastics at its finest. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. This power play only has time for one more rush. They'll have to play with urgency and not just skate the puck, but move it fast. 
And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Dali. Stopped by the goaltender. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Krebs hoping for some puck luck here on this faceoff as they continue to play shorthanded. The Sabres get a hold of the puck in their own end. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. And that's a solid clearing attempt on the play. And he slides it quickly to Rossi. Picks up the puck in his own end. Moves it over to Gabarik. Minnesota's on the attack. Shot! What a chance, but can't finish! Well, you gotta make good on a chance like this. This is deflating, James. You don't even put it on the net and test the goaltender. That's a huge miss. Scooped up along the wall by Eric Sinek. And it's a quick pass to Gabarik. Blocked in traffic. Sends it over to Tuck. Moves it around along the half wall. Tuck's able to corral that pass. He's got the puck on his stick. You know he's dangerous. He's got two in the game, and he's looking for another. Throws it in. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Samuelson's got it in the defensive zone. Shot! Turned aside with the glove by Dubnik. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Past the halfway mark of this period. Fans being treated to an awful lot of lamp lighting tonight. It's 5-2. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Minnesota's looking to break out. And that's picked off by CeCe. The Sabres played along the wing. Sends the pass in front. Oh, and he keeps it here. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Quick pass to Theodore. And there's a save. Minnesota's look good offensively to this point, but they continue to trail here in the second. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. And he takes the feed. The Sabres have it against the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Quick feed to Theodore. Minnesota's got the puck at the defensive end. From the right side and up the middle. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. Oh, spectacular stop there! Moves it quickly over to Cousins. The Sabres move the puck in the defensive zone. The Wild have gained possession off the wall. Takes the feed. And that's poked away in the offensive zone by Johns. Stopped by the goaltender. I played against a few pass players like this, James, and they made me look like a turnstile. They can maneuver and manipulate at will, and that's exactly what he does. He just can't convert on his opportunity. Minnesota's got the puck against the boards. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Silverberg's got it into offensive territory. The Sabres have it now. Denies the chance by blocking it. Big time hit along the boards, and there's no give there. Well, there isn't, and you can just feel the rumble of the boards from up here. Just bone crushing, separating body from puck. Jostling for the puck, and he loses control. And now he tries to get it across to Chara. Good use of the body to knock them off the puck. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Takes a bump, but still hangs on to the puck. And that skips away on a nice defensive deflection. And he takes the dish. Off target! Sends one up to Petrie. He carries the puck up along the wing. Picked up along the boards by Paterka. Great hits that play with the stick by Duclair. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Here we go, pucks in deep. Angles it over to Nash. Tries to get it to Rossi. Fire it. Quick shot. There's the horn, 40 minutes in the books. We'll get a refresh for both the players. Ice, back with a third period next. Guaranteed your seat.
for the upcoming playoffs on the box office for the connection for And we are just moments away from the start of the third period. Game is not over yet. Let's see if they can try to rally back here in the third, but they've got a long way to go. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Sabres have been fantastic through 40 minutes of play, James. They've been good on both sides of the puck. They've gotten themselves a comfortable lead. Now it's about protecting it. You still want to push when you have the puck, but you have to be in good spots to protect defensively. Minnesota's trailing early in this third period despite leading in the shot department. Now they got to finish. Buffalo's got the win off that draw. Moves it to Enron. Poked away in the offensive end. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Chance in front. Oh, stick save and a puke. Takes the feed at the point. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. Tries to feed it across. Takes a shot. Great reflexes as he comes up with the pad save. Oh, off his mask. And he slides it quickly to Chara. And there's another stop. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive end. And the whole crowd is loving this. Face off coming up here in the attacking zone. Well, they'll want to put their foot on the gas pedal here, sensing that the goaltender's overworked right now, and let's face it, he can't change. Puck picked up by Prosser. Oh, break out the ice packs. He lays out to block that shot. Oh. Loses his balance on the play. Scores! Oh, my, oh, my! How things have suddenly changed here. Well, uh, it's a magic of one situation where you think you're out of it and now all of a sudden you believe you're back in it. Complete change of the dynamic of the game. Well, this is just a great job to get the hands away from the body and deflect that puck into the net as it changes direction. Goaltender doesn't have a chance. The Wild have got one back and they've made it a two-goal game now. When the puck moves quicker than them, they're going to have to transition very quickly and look to counter and get some opportunities on net. Tuck's got it in the offensive zone. Sends it in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Minnesota's been the better team, but not necessarily boasting the better goaltender, trailing early in the third. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Battling for it along the boards. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Moves the puck to the attacking area. Takes it in front. Minnesota's got the puck against the half wall. Just gets enough to keep it out. Well, a nice save by the goaltender, and even better is that he redirects the puck to the corner to safety. Chris got it and will hang on for the whistle. Where he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident control in the crease. Minnesota needs to convert on one of these scoring chances, and they've had a lot of them tonight, but they still find themselves down in period three. Offense is on face-off, and he wins the draw. Boldy's ball down, penalty on the way. Good stand-up hit. And here comes the judgment from the official. Tuck's called for tripping, he's off to the box.
Minnesota's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. No room for no one to get through. Put him on the post! Rossi's had a tough time around the net tonight, James. It's hitting the bar. He's gotta find a way to cash in, you know, with his hands. At some point, if he gets the opportunity, he's gonna put it in. Erickson X got it along the boards. Here's a short pass to Giroux. Buffalo's got control of the puck. We got a delayed penalty coming up. That trip right in front of the official's eyes. Can't get away with that. Erickson X been nabbed for tripping. As we get set for the face-off, a chance to see both teams in a little four-on-four -four action here. Four-on-four four can be pretty confusing when it comes to coverage. You know that your defense have the forwards, but the forwards have to be able to contain the D as well. So it's complete defense out there. Up along the wall on the right side and into the attacking area. Let's go! Advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and skip it out because he has great hand eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. The Wild have pushed back here in the third and have made this a one goal hockey game. Yeah, tough pushback, and sometimes when it's not working, you have to make adjustments, and those adjustments are really successful in this one. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it to the middle. Scores! What a finish on the play! This is a great goal, James, but it all starts with the pass. But how about the deke before the pass? I, I mean, drawing the coverage to yourself so that you can open the space to be able to distribute the puck, that's a beauty. Buffalo's got to be feeling good how this game has played out tonight, Cheryl. Yeah, their opponent has certainly outshot them, James, but it's not about the number of shots. It's what goes in and what drops for you. They just need to continue on, but they don't want to give up too many opportunities on the other side. There's still some game left to play here. An opportunity for some power play time now as he steps back out onto the ice. Moves the pass in front, and it's blocked. Theodore's loving the puck. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Oh, gets a little piece of it and keeps it out of the net. Quick pass. To oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last-ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Trying to shake loose. All alone. What a stop on the breakaway. The Sabres come up empty-handed on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Buffalo's got the puck along the boards. Now a quick pass to Silverberg. The Sabres move it in. And now it's grabbed by Cousins. Takes a lot, but still hangs on. Jabs the puck away. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. And the play is whistled dead. Here's the call. The Wild have put themselves down a man, tripping the call. The Sabres send their man advantage unit out once more. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. Coyne's won the face-off. Quick feed to Cousins. Oh, what a save! Oh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. Well, that's a picture-perfect save, James. It's getting to position and getting square to the puck, and the only way it happens, if he reads the play. Break away! Such an athletic save, James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. 
Well, they always say to be great, you have to get uncomfortable. As we look at this last save, this looks uncomfortable. Stretching your body, finding a way to make yourself as big as possible to get to the save. That's what he did, and that's why the save was made. Michael's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Nice job tying up his opponent. Big time stop with the glove. The Ducks are on the schedule next, and when those two teams meet up, it's always a fun one. We'll see you then, I'm sure. Ross is recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Michael's got it. Now they'll look to see what they can do with it offensively. And he denied him there. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? And from off the wing, he comes up with it with both centers scrummed up. Minnesota's failed to convert on scoring opportunities and lots of them here in this third period. Michaels won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Score! Slow putting the special in special teams. It's a power play tally. Well, it's all about specialty teams, and it often makes a difference. And right now, there was pass execution, and they found a way to attack the net. Let's have another look at this, James. Yep, yeah, there it is. I mean, look at that net front presence, just the screen and the goaltender battling to find the puck. That's exactly what you need in the paint on the power play. And as a result, they score. Buffalo's offense continues to shine here in this third period. Well, this has got to be a dream for a coach. You know that they're telling their team in the intermission to make sure they stay to business, stay to task, stay focused. And that's exactly what they've done, and they just hammered their opponent. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Minnesota's regained possession of the puck. There's been so much offense in this game, James. It's been real entertaining for us and the fans in the building. Listen, I was more of a defensive specialist, so I wouldn't have been up in the tap, but clearly the game's changing. Fires it! Gets a piece of it to keep it out. That's some smart heads-up defensive play by Kobe. Oh, a quick little pickpocket on the play. Puck scooped up by Kaverick. Uh-uh! Nice block. And that's off a stick. Moves it to Skinner. Big hit, and that frees up possession. The Sabres have it from their own end. Here's a short pass to Darlene. Looks to make a play over to Johns. Smart read by the defender to come up with it. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. The Sabres are gonna be shorthanded, tripping the call. Minnesota's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play has just been average tonight, James. Not been really awful, but certainly hasn't been great. That goes off the post and stays out. Minnesota's players and staff are going to be extremely frustrated here. They keep wiring it off the post and get real good looks, but their shots are just a little too fine. Quick pass to Eric Sinek. Shot denied by the goaltender. Tremendous pressure here in the offensive end. The Wild have gained control of the puck along the wall. On the attack along the boards. Takes the shot. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Tried to get 2 2 with it and loses possession. Trying a nifty move when you have good hands. Sometimes it works, sometimes you get denied, and that's what happened there. Minnesota's got a hold of it against the wall. Handles the puck from the left side. Takes it behind the net. Takes the pass as he bangs it off the wall. Gets the puck in deep. The Wild have the puck against the boards. Great pressure forcing the turnover. Puck moved over to Vanek. Takes the pass. Oh, what a save in front. Crisp's able to 
to get to position and negate that dangerous lot shot. Puts it on net. Oh, I thought he was gonna be beat, and he somehow got a piece of that. There's another stop. Well, he has been under siege, and I'm loving his compete level. I mean, he's making consecutive saves one after another. Dalim's up and ready to get back on the ice. Buffalo's penalty killers get a hold of it. The man advantage is over. Big time saving goal as he gets all of it with the stick. Denies him again. Denies him. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. Here comes the call. Well, the PKers are getting a ton of ice time, but guess what? Your offensive players are not, so you can't generate and produce. They got to figure out a way to stay out of the box. Team's opportunity for both sides as the man advantage unit is back to work again. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. Great defensive effort with the stick. Scrum ensues along the boards. Here's a shot! Oh, that just goes wide! Minnesota's been successful at gaining the offensive zone, but they've missed the net, and they've had a ton of scoring chances, just unable to convert, a reason why they're trailing in the third. Moves the puck across to Theodore. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. The Sabres gain control of the puck. Gains the zone through center. Buffalo's got the puck along the wall. Quick stop by Dubnik. Well, the shooter's in a coveted spot on the ice, right in the middle of it, with a good look, and he makes an incredible save by getting square to the puck and turning it aside. Solani's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Sends a pass over. Can't maintain possession. The Sabres will play it in their own end. Here's a chance! Scores! What a finish in all alone! Wow, it isn't easy to score against these tenders, in particular in these one-on-one -on -one battles, but he thinks and is able to bury in the back of the net. What a counterattack and brilliant speed to get on his horse and get in on the Breakaway, James, and that momentum it carries right through on his shot, and he puts it home. Buffalo's added yet another one here to the total tonight. What a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Puck grab by Theodore. And they turn it over to the neutral zone. Less than a minute to go now here in regulation. Textbook poke check by Power. Inside his own end, moves the puck. Buffalo's in on the offensive attack now. Minnesota's got the puck now. Taken by Theodore. With possession along the wall. Shot. Oh, it stays out. He got a piece of that one. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Minnesota's been very active offensively tonight, but they just have not been able to finish over scoring chances here late in the third. Slides the puck over to Silverberg. All alone! Big stop just as time expires in the period. Cheryl, watching this performance tonight, I, I think this team was maybe believing their own press a little too much. Yeah, sometimes when you're on a winning streak, you feel like it's never going to end. Uh, you got some swagger, you're playing confident. But the other team had a different idea, and you got to give them some credit right now. They played a tight game, they were physically engaged, and didn't give them much. Well, that'll bring an end to an exciting night of hockey. And for all of us here at EA Sports, including Danny, Matt, Natalia, all in the truck, I'm James. She's Cheryl. Good night, everybody.